Hi everyone! Today I am going to show you how to make crepes. Crepe, not crap, is often compared to a thin, delicate pancake. This is because the ingredients are similar, um, it has eggs, flowers, milk, butter, um, but there is no baking powder in crepes and the ratio between eggs and flour and uh, eggs to milk, things like that are all different. Crepes come from Brittany in France, which is on the west side of France. In France, there are two types of crepes, the one made with regular flour, all-purpose flour, that are usually sweet, and the one made with buckwheat flour, which is gluten-free and served for savory crepes. I will show you today how to make sweet crepes. Crepes can be served folded in four, folded in eight, rolled, and sweet crepes can have a lot of delicious toppings from just plain sugar to chocolate, whipped cream, fruits, ice cream. Crepes are usually served with hot cider, which is delicious. For the recipe today, you need 50 grams of unsalted butter, melted and cooled. Um, I usually uh, cut the butter in small pieces and then I put it in the microwave for uh, a minute and a half at 50% power. You need 60 grams of granulated sugar. Uh, the sugar can be omitted, especially if you plan on making crepes for sweet and savory toppings, but when the sugar is added, it caramelizes during cooking, and so it gives this nice brown patches on the crepe. I personally prefer having sugar in it. You need 250 grams of all-purpose flour. I like to use King Arthur, one teaspoon or five grams of salt, four large eggs, 500 milliliter of milk, cold, and for the flavor, uh, I use half a tablespoon of dark rum. To me, that makes it really, really good. Um, but if you want to avoid the dark rum, you can use uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extra. I don't think it would be as good, but that's my personal preference. Cut the butter in small pieces and put it in the microwave safe bowl. Put this in the microwave for one and a half minutes at 50% power. Let it cool. In a bowl, put the flour, salt and sugar and mix. Because the batter will be thick at first, I like to put anti-slippery pads that are usually used to open jars under my bowl and that increases the friction while I mix, so it makes it easier. Then add the four eggs at one time. Mix gently to incorporate everything together. Um, the reason why you mix gently is because you're not interested in developing gluten here, but just mix the ingredients. When the batter start to be a little bit thick and resist the mixing, start adding the milk very slowly to relax the batter.
When the batter starts to be a little bit more flexible, you can add the flavor. In my case, that would be the rum. Mix a little bit more and then continue adding the milk slowly. With this method, you shouldn't get any lumps. However, if your batter starts having lumps, uh, you can pass the batter through a strainer. Mini crab recipes recommend resting for at least 30 minutes and sometimes even overnight. If you decide to do that, take some uh, film and put it at the surface of the batter, uh, cover the whole bowl and put it in the fridge. Uh, I personally don't do this, especially with this recipe. Uh, I haven't really seen a difference in taste or texture. The end result is very liquidy. Finally, add the melted cooled butter. For the next part, you'll need an anti-adhesive pan, like a crepe pan, for example. Mine is about 11 inches or 28 centimeters in diameter. A plate to put a, your crepes in. Uh, make sure this is at least the same diameter or larger than your crepes. Some aluminum foil to cover the batter. A half cup which for my setup at least this is the perfect volume uh, for the batter compared to my pan a flat spatula so you can flip the crab and a bit of unsalted butter so maybe like five to ten grams and a brush mine is in silicone which uh, should be uh, heat resistant put an entire adhesive pan or crab pan on medium heat for about five minutes my gas stove is at a six uh, the max is at a 10, so that gives you an idea of um, where I am. Brush a bit of butter onto the pan. You won't put butter for every crepe, but I would say every three crepes or so is a good plan. This gives flavor and helps with the cooking. Take about half a cup of batter, and you'll see I'll use slightly less. And dump the batter on one side of the pan at once, and rotate the pan to cover the entire surface. Some people use a wooden stick. I personally am very bad at this, so I don't do that. When you rotate the pan, don't go too fast or too slow. If you go too fast, you'll start having streaks of batter. And if you go too slow, it won't cover the whole pan. It will uh, solidify before you get to the end. If you still have some butter running after a full circle, continue rotating until the batter solidifies. It will take about a minute and a half for the first side and about 45 seconds for the second side. Visually, you can monitor the border of the crepe. Uh, when you see that it starts to get brown, uh, it's usually the time to flip it. Put the spatula in the center under the crepe. And flip. Then wait another 45 seconds. Take the spatula to put the crab right side up on the plate. That's usually how you serve the crab. Here's another trick. If your plate is about the same size as your pan, you can actually use the curvature of the plate and match that to your crab curvature. So then your crab will be nicely in the center of your plate. Once that's done, cover with aluminum foil to keep the moisture.
The crepes are usually better served right away. If you cannot do that, you can keep them at room temperature for about half a day. Otherwise, I would recommend to put them in the fridge covered with aluminum foil and you can use them for the next five days. If you decide to do that method, you will notice that after a day or half a day, the crepes will start sticking to each other. So I would recommend after a half day or one day, if you decide to put them in the fridge, to actually unstick them and then put them back in the fridge. If you do that, they won't stick again to one another. If you want to serve the crepe hold, put the topping along a line of the diameter and then roll the crepe in the direction perpendicular to that line. If you decide to serve the crepe folded, put the topping in a quarter of the crepe and then fold it in four. And then if you want to fold it in eight, fold it one more time. If you like the video, please put a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again soon. Enjoy your craft!